And now, another edition of Between Classes. <laughs> Welcome to Between Classes, numero quattro. After one week off, we are thrilled to be back with you. Even though our own version of this news update is a total ripoff from someone else, we recently got ripped off ourselves by our very own junior high students, and we loved it. Welcome to our first virtual edition of Trojan Talk. Oh, what do you miss most about teaching? Um, I definitely would say I miss the students the most. I missed you guys. There are five things to do in the happiest place you could be right now, aka your home. Libby and Ava have created some Disney themed rides for you guys. So we just have to trust him that he has a plan and put our trust in him. Keep up the great work, kids. We've got a lot to get to. Let's jump right in. It's hard not to lead with the story of an unusually tall man and some beloved elementary teachers driving all over the valley in costumes and a short white school bus. Especially when there are so many photos and videos to prove it. This week, Principal Fryer and some elementary teachers visited the homes of many of our students to say hello, congratulate them on a job well done, and hand out gifts. If you're an elementary family and they haven't visited yet, don't worry. The craziness is coming next week. Last week, junior high students participated in a virtual art show. They used oil pastels in making a parody of Edvard Munch's The Scream. Not to be confused with Wes Craven's version nearly a century later. And the results were impressive. Speaking of the arts, Valley Rhythmics at the high school put together their own digital masterpiece with a performance they called Stool of Rock. You think that's hard? Try playing drums on an egg without breaking it, like freshman Andrew Arndt. So this is an egg. I'm sure you guys already knew that. If I break it, that's bad, okay. Well, we just released the brand new Trojan Tournament recap video. Last year's Trojan Tournament video garnered almost 50,000 views, and that was without a controversial ending. Too soon? Yeah, I think it is too soon. High school speech students participated in a project called Speak Life where students gave their thoughts and encouragement on how to survive life in quarantine. Hey guys, I just wanted to encourage you on all this kind of craziness of the quarantine. Sometimes social distancing can lead to closeness by becoming closer with him and reading more and spending time in worship and praying. Especially as Christians, we should be very confident and hopeful that God is always there to help us and protect us. Friendly little reminder from quarantine that God loves you and he always has your back. You can cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, with, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. God is still with us, and he always will be with us, and we just need to trust in him that he will have our back, even with things that are changing. So just remember that no matter what you're going through, especially in these hard times, to run to God because your relationship with Him can grow immensely like during these really crazy times. Well, the Mr. VCHS contest continues and one thing is clear, none of the contestants have had a haircut since COVID-19. Also clear, instead of the usual senioritis, some of the boys have actually lost their minds. Pie eating contest. <laughs> And with the goal, Zach Dinsmore. Well, it appears Ben Samora choked there. When I heard that we were doing a swimsuit competition, I was so excited. I dug out my favorite swimsuit from when I was a kid. 
And obviously, um, I don't have a pool, so I'm in a tree. Band needs to make this for the championship from five feet. Blowing down just a little more. Come on now. Come on now. No, 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 no. Don't you do it to me. Don't you do it to me. Now let's head out to the parking lot for weather with senior Justin Stinson. Justin, how's the weather out there? It's good. And now for some quick hitters. Another edition of Theology Talk was just released. Still awaiting my invite to join the panel. Doctor? <laughs> Speaking of doctors, Numerous students and families wished Principal Fryer congratulations on his new doctorate. Congratulations, Dr. Fryer! Hold on, is this the right kind of doctor? Congratulations, Dr. Fryer! Congratulations! Ah! Snow! Not everyone has the privilege of working for such a distinguished boss as this. Congratulations on your PhD, Mr. Fryer. Congratulations, Dad! We love you, Dr. Fryer! Knowing commencement ceremonies will look a little different this year, Karis White modeled a graduation gown with a safety mask for her upcoming 8th grade graduation. Well, we are spotlighting our seniors on our Instagram stories this week. The senior pictures are heartwarming, but those baby pictures are winning the internet. Speaking of photos, we just finished sharing 34 straight days of alumni throwback photos through our alumni channels. Here are all 34 in seven seconds. Construction continues on the expansion of the Jimmy Cottrell weight room. Check it out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This past week, the high school student council was announced, including our four student body officers. Congratulations to Abby Dykstra, Ella Womack, Lydia Hickey, and Lainey Fuller. I had a chance to catch up with student body president and vice president, Abby Dykstra and Ella Womack. I understand that you were recently announced these positions Talk to me a little bit about one, why you wanted to be in this position, and then two, with all that's going on now, are you reconsidering? Are you still excited? So I wanted to go out for student body and student body president because I was in Stuco the past two years and I just really fell in love with it and fell in love with serving the student body and being able to plan things and just being a part of every little thing. I'm the same as Abby. I'd say I've been in Stuco these past, since freshman year actually, and I loved it. I love our mentors, Dyer and Clausen, they're amazing. I just love being able to serve the student body and I love up school events and school spirit, so it's a great place to just be able to do, do all those things together. I also want to like further my leadership skills just through a amazing club like Stuco. What do you think you bring to uh, Stuco by way of your skill set? Um, I think we both are definitely just here for you guys and here to serve the whole student body. One of my greatest qualities in St. Ella is just being able to connect with people and to socialize and just to hear them out and know their ideas. Work really well alongside with the rest of student council and the rest of student body. Do all that we can to just make it the best year possible to make those memories and build that community and everything. This has been really hard for me and so I'm very excited for next year to be able to be back on campus with everyone and get everyone back involved in rebuilding community. We have really strong people to go this year. So. I can't think of two better people to be in these positions to handle the challenges. I know you guys will do a great job. So on behalf of the school, we just wanted to wish you a super big congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, we are hosting a virtual open house for all prospective families on Saturday, May 9th at 9 a.m. Tell your friends and neighbors to join us and learn more about Valley Christian Schools. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Valley Christian Schools Between Classes. Stay tuned for future episodes on our Facebook and YouTube pages. Stay safe, stay inside, and go Trojans.